what's up what's down what is all around what's good youtube it's your boy groovy grizzly here back with another video we're back to playing some konani some conan exiles check it out look at our homeboy over here look at him looking menacing the tallest archer i have ever seen this guy is six foot eight great nine feet vertical leap not really that'd be awesome though but yeah so i got myself an archer and right back here i got myself a warrior which is, uh, he's about my height, which is fantastic. Those are the two thralls that I've gotten so far. We got our buddy here still just working away, but we are not currently taming anything. We made some little additions to our base. We added this little cupboard because I needed some more space to store things in. So I uh, just have my armor, tools, and weapons sitting in there. And I was fortunate enough to grab a few candles to, dele or to delicate to decorate our little uh, table over here, which is nice. Awesome. And along with all of that, I actually found some of these notes here. So some of these are actually that I've noticed are from the sorcerer. I killed a sorcerer while I was just harvesting and gathering some resources. And they dropped a few things. They dropped this leather pouch and they dropped this cloth uh, satchel. It says a sturdy satchel dropped by a sorcerer. So it's probably, if I had to take a guess, some form of resource related to the new sorcery um, 3.0 deal. So I'm going to read some of these, see what they are. Torn parchment, I don't expect it to be anything. Uh, nor safe, nor the drums come every night in a rhythm pounding that raises terror in every heartbeat. The Dafari are hunting and men are uh, are their quarry. Quarry? Quarry. I used to hear their drums out of the desert groves beyond Sabola, Zambola, Zambola. And in, in, in that life, I simply thank the gods that I had wealth and shelter. But see me now, crouched among the boulders, filthy, ragged, and half starved. My days are constantly a scramble for food and water, and my nights are spent huddled in whatever shelter I can find. Soon I will drift out of half sleep of the terrible to dream. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I can't read with the shit. Soon I will drift off to the half sleep of the terrified to dream of filled teeth and wicked cudgels and the haunting beating of those gods' cursed drums. Okay, read. All right, next is, I am beaten left to rot in the ruins of the past. There are two others here, slaves, bandits, cannibals. I think it's the one from the beginning, so I'm not going to worry about that one. Uh, black and shady, sing, sing to the broken road, paved in the oaths of forgotten men, in blood and bones that churned the sand, the bitter heart of a traitor's den. Behold, the swollen corpse song, croaked from the throats of the hanging fools, pattering feet in a rictus jig, comes to the rope, our eager goals. Listen now to the wind smunk souls, diving down to the rocks and sand, holding their tongues and bloat in decay, never again to cross the Black Hand. So the Black Hand is, uh, I guess this is a poem about the Black Hand, which is one of the factions in the game. Uh, Silencio's instructions. I think this is probably a treasure. Out east side of the Black Hand ship, yep, there is an anchor. From the anchor, take 45 steps. Walk, don't run north. Turn east, take 50 steps. Then turn south and take 25 steps. Finally, turn east and take 150 steps. There, hidden at the base of the mighty tree, is my chest. So that's just like a, a thing. It's like a treasure that you can find in the map. I found that one before. I'm going to keep it on me so that way I can find it later. I have no clue what this is for. It says, after the tome and sorcerer's reagent pouch is perhaps their... Next most important tool, a carefully curated assembly of arcane reagents necessary to cast spells. So scroll, uh, scroll Scalos Cultist Master, a note scrawled on flimsy paper. Reading this will unlock knowledge of Kari Raider's armor. Very cool. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and use that then. So it's sweet. I learned how to create um, a new armor set which is kind of cool i guess uh dead sorcerer map let's read this one this folded and cracked map is drawn with a skillful hand and detailed what appears to be a long forgotten cave network what lies at the end of the map's description trail is marked only with an arcane symbol so i believe that this piece of paper is what allows me to find the basically the crafting bench is the best way i can describe it uh, it allows me to find the location to learn how to make the crafting bench for me to start making arcane stuff uh, or sorceries. So we're going to go ahead and use that. And it tells me exactly where it is. So it kind of tells you on the map, like the groove and stuff. So right here, on, I'm going to use my thing here. Right here, I think this is the Undead City. You have the river that runs along the side here. And there's a cave right over there. So if I had to take a wild guess here, I believe it's going to be right here. Here. Oh, shoot. Didn't mean to do that. It's going to be right here somewhere. So that's where the cave is going to be. And then this here is just a war paint. Uh, you can equip it, which I did. And it unlocks a journey step. And it's just a, a paw on my fucking chest, basically. 
And the thing that I've been wanting to do the most, let's go ahead and open this, see what's in here. It is a cloth pouch, reagent dropped by sorcerer. So it's the exact same thing as the other pouch. Uh, Pour it carefully, sample. yeah, it's the same thing as this. I wonder why this one's, oh, that one's cloth instead of leather. Okay, so I found this one in another one of those as well because I didn't really know what it was whenever I opened it, so. But now I know, all right, cool. That took a lot of time, me sitting there reading all that. But let's go ahead and throw these back in here for now. Uh, I don't need any of these. I like to keep the notes because I don't know if they wind up being needed later on. I'm gonna keep this on me and I'll throw these pouches here at the bottom. I'm OCD, so we'll stack that there. Awesome. The, now, the next thing that I kind of wanted to work on, as you can tell, my booties got broken because uh, I got pounded into submission earlier on. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go ahead and start working on getting ourselves some tinker stuff. So we're gonna scroll down to the bottom, right down here, and we're gonna go ahead and learn how to make the apprentice weapon smith. And we're also gonna go ahead and learn how to make the armor so we can make the armorer's bench. And we're gonna go ahead and learn how to make the apprentice armor smith uh, stuff so we can improve our armor sets that we have. Awesome. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right over here. And I'm not sure if I wanted to put it here or if I wanna put it somewhere else, but I believe for this, you're gonna need the hammer. So we're gonna equip the hammer. And uh, let's see, it's probably gonna be under crafting stations. Yep, it's right here. So we need, let's see, armorer's bench. We need 200 stone, 100 wood, and 25 of the uh, of the ropes here. So we're just gonna grab these out of here for now. And we'll just go ahead and start crafting it. So we're gonna go to crafting station, the bench, leap, boom. And I think I'm gonna put it over here actually. So I have a lot of space here still, and I have nothing else to really put over here. I don't know if I want to put it up against the wall that way or put it up. I'm going to put it up against this wall. Uh, let's see if I can kind of get this right here. Uh, let's move it a little closer. Uh, I think right there is good. Survey says, uh, yeah, it's pretty spot on. Nice. So now right next to our blacksmith, we have our armor's bench, which looks nice. So it's going to allow us to craft some armor. And most importantly, it's going to allow me. Oh, look, there's the uh, cultist. Uh, master hood and stuff. This stuff looks actually really cool. I really like this. It's got a really high armor value for what it is, but you need layered silk, which I don't think I can make yet. Um, so yeah, but it's actually pretty damn good. Wow, this is good stuff. Okay, I need raw ash, which I definitely don't have yet. All right, cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw that in here and we're gonna need to repair it. What do I need to repair it? I need iron bars and leather. So we're just gonna go here. We're just gonna grab half of the stack of this and we'll just move it right into this. Uh, let's move this to the bottom. And then we're gonna grab the leather, which should be right here. We have a ton of leather. Yep, there it is. We're gonna split that. We're gonna go ahead and grab it. And we're gonna vertical leap. Oh, never mind. And got it. There we go. Throw this sucker right in there. And now we're just gonna go ahead and repair it. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and repair all of my armor. So that way I don't have to do it later. So we're gonna unequipped, 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 unequipped. Uh, I don't really, I'm gonna drop that. I'm not gonna need that anymore because I'm actually about to make myself a armor for that. I'm gonna go ahead and pop all that in there. We're gonna go ahead and repair all of these. Sweet. And we're just gonna go ahead and craft the armor set for it. I think it's the medium is the one that we want for this. Yep, we need medium padding. What do I need to make medium padding? I need hide and some rope. So we're gonna go ahead and just throw that in there and we should be able to make one medium padding. We're gonna wait for that to finish crafting. And then once that's finished crafting, we'll go ahead and make that. And while that's doing that, we're gonna run right over here on this side. And right here, there's something else I wanted to craft. I wanted to craft this bow, because uh, my bow's pretty much like the beginning bow that you get, and I wanna get something stronger. So I went ahead and put the resources in here that I needed for it. Thick hide that I found from harvesting some of the, uh, from some of the, like the camps, they drop like, sometimes they would drop rhino hide and stuff like that, and I was able to craft it into thick leather. So we got the thick letter we needed for it. And of course you find sticks literally anywhere. We're gonna go ahead and craft that. And the other thing I wanted to go ahead and learn how to craft 
while we're waiting. Oh, actually, let's go ahead and do this. So we got three points that we haven't spent yet. We're going to go ahead and max out our agility. And we're going to put our points. So we can choose between having precision strike, which is 10% additional armor penetration, while carrying a medium or lighter load, which is okay. But, like, I'm usually pretty heavy because I'm a hoarder. So, like, I don't want to use that one. Deadshot arrows and throw weapons travel twice as quickly and deal 15 more damage to distant targets. That's the one I want. I want to make the bow as efficient as possible. I've been waiting to get this one. We got it. So we're set and good to go. Now we got our bow. It's ready to go. We're going to go ahead and grab that. And we're going to go ahead and equip it. We're going to throw that in here. Actually, I'm just going to throw this on the ground because I really don't need that anymore. And now we have ourselves a new bow, which looks pretty cool. We're going to go ahead and equip our arrow. We got some metal arrows on us because I ran out of the other arrows. So we're going to use that. And all of our armor sets are complete. Let's go ahead and grab everything out of here. Sweet. And we'll go ahead and equip everything. It's just the same armor set, which is cool. I did buy, I did purchase uh, like a skin thing that it was, I didn't purchase it. It's free actually right now. These armor sets right here, if you can see them around around. Oh, also I tamed the cook as well. I found a level two cook and I went ahead and tamed it. For some reason I can't tame, I can't knock out level three ones. I kill them before I can knock them out with the truncheon that I currently have. So I haven't been trying to knock out any more level three. So level two currently right now is the highest I could get. So I just went ahead and got a cook for when I can actually make a cooking spot. Anyway, so this is like just an illusion thing. It's like armor skin, that's all it is. It doesn't really, get, it doesn't give you any bonuses or anything just to look a certain type of way, but it's an illusion. So you can only put it on by crafting a spell. So I can't craft it and put anything on there yet, unfortunately. Awesome, so I'm gonna go ahead and put all this stuff away. And I think actually before I put everything away, the other thing I wanted to craft which I don't know if you craft it with this or if you craft it with the, let's see, farming. Yeah, right there. So I need shaped wood and I need twine. So I need 10 shaped wood to be able to craft that. So we don't have enough shaped wood. So I'm going to throw this in here, throw this in here. I'm going to keep the twine on me. I'm going to keep half of it. Split, we'll keep half of the twine on me. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and turn all this wood into shaped wood for now. And uh, we'll harvest some more wood later. But while we're waiting on that to come up, I want to kind of test out my new bow and arrow and see what the difference is between the two. I don't think there's a whole lot of difference as far as damage goes. I think most of the difference comes in the arrows themselves, but I want to test this out real quick anyway. And I also want to test out my ability. Boom. So you, not bad, actually. That's doing a significant amount of uh, more damage. Also, it's a lot quicker for me to, to get that little sparkling thing. So that's actually really awesome. Okay, cool. So this is actually a pretty good perk. It's not doing a ton more damage, at least comparative to what I was doing before to these guys. 15% is not a ton, but it's a significant amount. So like get close to them, let them pounce on me. I love that this doesn't take a long time for, for it to prep up, which is pretty great. I hate that I can't gather my arrows back though, once you kill these guys. I kind of want to get some bones off of these, so I'm going to use the axe, I think, or the pickaxe. I think you get bones out of them if you use the pickaxe. Oh, yeah, you get some. Not a lot, though. I guess you get more on some than others. I wanted to go ahead and start harvesting some bones, because I remember later on in the game, I need bones for something relatively important, but I can't remember quite what it is off the top of my head. So let me go ahead and put all this stuff away. I'm going to wait for the shift wood to be prepared, and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, check it out. So we're down here, we're right below where our house is. Our house is right up there. Actually, I'm gonna walk right over here and put it over here. So right over here by the water, I want to go ahead and put some of these fishing spots right here. The reason, or not fishing spots, but trap spots right over here. The reason why I wanna put it here is because, or why I wanna put these down is because for me, I believe it's agility is what it was. For me to be able to level up agility on my guys, so like for the archer, I want more agility on him. I need to craft these fish traps so that way I can give him cooked fish meat so that way he can level up agility, have a bigger chance of leveling up agility over everything else. And what you're gonna need for these fish traps is just some handful of insects. You just throw that sucker right in there and over time, if you look right there on the bottom, you're gonna get a ton of fish, real simple. That's the most useful thing that you could use these insects for. You could put the bees in there, but I don't really see a point of it. The reason why I have all this plant fiber on me all of a sudden is because I was harvesting 
uh, the plant fiber so I can get more of the insects. I don't know if there's an easier way to harvest more insects than that. Uh, that's the only way I'm aware of that you can harvest is just by going up to the plants and either just grabbing it or just basically harvesting plant fibers and you'll get insects along the way. And it worked out pretty well for me. But if there's an easier way to do it, hey, let me know in the comment section below because I actually have no idea an easier way to, to gather more insects. So also one thing that I've noticed, I'm really sick and tired of like just having to climb up this, uh, this rock here like I'm Spider-Man or something like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and just create the elevator and put it right down here. So it just makes the getting up part a lot easier. The getting down is really easy. You just jump across that way and just slide down. But the getting up part, I'm just really tired of having to climb it. I'd rather have the elevator. I know the elevator is not much faster, but it's a little bit of a convenience thing. Why not have it, you know what I mean? So we still have, let's see, we got 12 left in here. We have next to no wood left. So I think I might have to harvest some more wood. I can go ahead and craft the elevator. Let's see what I need for it, vertical. Oh, I can actually go ahead and craft it. So go ahead and pop that sucker in there. We'll go ahead and get that crafting. It's gonna take a second for me to do it. I'm gonna put this other stuff away. I'm gonna make like a nice little platform area for the elevator to come up and down on. And then after that, we'll, uh, once I get everything settled up, we'll, uh, we'll start construction. All right, guys, and we're back at it. So I went ahead and moved the forge over here. One thing that I've realized that they added to the game is if you hold on to this, you can just move placeables literally anywhere, which is fantastic. I didn't know that they added that to the game. So I don't really even need the pickup mod. I mean, I still do for the for the walls and stuff, but like it hasn't even been working properly. So I'm probably gonna take that off of there. Uh, the place mod or the pickup mod or whatever. But I think also the place anywhere mod, because I think that's like an ability that you can check off now on the settings. But I've heard that the mod is still better because it allows you to place things in even better places. So I also noticed there's a gap right here on the floor. I might want to put another foundation underneath there. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and place. I think actually, I think I need to place it myself. Yeah. I think that's how it works so we're gonna put this in our hand and i kind of want to test and see like where does this go um to find valid and location okay cool so i think i need to put foundations down first and kind of build something right here for it to work properly so what we're gonna do is i went ahead and gathered a ton of uh resources so i can do this so uh we're gonna just put sandstone down and i'm gonna place it right here let's see let's let's move it let's move it um oh, that's not what i meant uh let's see rotation let's increase the foundation a little bit and we'll put it like half and half we'll do like let's see we're gonna put it right here at the end uh, let's increase it a little bit more and we'll place it right there sorry uh, i forget sometimes what the buttons are all right and then we need to switch the cycle back that way there we go that works perfect oh also i've noticed that whenever you place things down the grass that's around it despawns which is awesome so you don't have like this grass clipping through the stuff anymore which is freaking awesome dude i love that they added that that is so so cool i love that i absolutely love that all right awesome so it looks like i need to go out one more here and here so I'm debating whether or not I want to add another um, another elevator to this side or not. I'm not entirely sure on that. So I need to place, actually, uh, yeah, I'm going to do this a little bit different. So I'm going to jump down to the bottom. First, actually, before we do anything, I think I am going to go ahead and just build another elevator. So that way I have two side by side. So uh, do I have enough to make another elevator here? I do not, but I do have a ton of wood on me. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw the rest of this wood in there and I'm gonna split this and throw that in there. And then we'll go ahead and craft another elevator. And while that's crafting, we're gonna go over here and we're gonna make the foundations go all the way down to the bottom. I don't like hanging foundations like that. So what we're gonna do is, uh, actually, let me think about this for a minute. Let me, let me think about this for a second. Um, I think I have a different idea. I think I have a different idea. I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, I don't know if I can access it from here or not. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna have to go into first person mode and I'm going to, let's see. Uh, I think you hold this button. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and destroy these two. 
And what I'm going to actually replace it with is going to be the ceiling pieces, which is right there. Boom. And we're going to make sure it's facing out because my OCD would drive me crazy. And what we'll do is there's inverted roof pieces, I believe. Okay, I need thatch for it. All right, bet. Uh, that's not a problem. Let's just go ahead and throw this on real quick and we'll just grab the ones that are down here. I hate playing in first person mode, except for building. It's actually a great tool for building. I'm just gonna grab the fiber that I have down here. I keep saying thatch for some reason. See how this one touches all the way down to the bottom? Like I like the way that looks. That part does it, which isn't a big deal. I'm not too concerned about that part. I need to finish building it all the way down. But right here it does, except for that top part. I just kind of like ended it off at the top, but that actually looks pretty decent and it makes sense. I like to make structural sense. You know what I'm saying? Structural sense is important to me in every game I play. All right, and that also looks makes it look better. All right, so we need, I think these are the pieces that I want, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, these are the pieces that I want. So I wanna put that one there. And I believe, can I put it on the bottom of that one too? I cannot, okay, that's a bummer. That is a bummer. And then we'll put, yes, this one right there. There we go, boom, just like that. And then what I will do is, uh, let's see, I will take, I think it's, do these work? I think these do work on there, don't they? Uh, let's see, rotation, rotation. Yeah, that works. Rotation, rotation, just like that. I don't think they, oh, they do attach to that, nice. Okay, cool. And I don't really need one on that side, so that's fine. So just this side here. And then I think to make sure that there's no gap there, I think I need to add, will it let me add this or no? It probably won't. Uh, doesn't seem like it will. That's good enough though, I'm okay with that. It kind of, it looks decent enough. I like that, that's fine, that's fine. All right, we'll do it like that. And then what we'll do is we're gonna have to throw this on there. And right here, well shoot, actually I think I still need to build the foundation all the way down to the bottom now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I think just for distance purposes, I think I'm gonna have to. So what we're gonna do, it's gonna, I'm gonna have to waste some resources, but it's fine, I suppose. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to. So we'll just go ahead and destroy that. And we'll place that there, that there, that there, that there, that there. And we'll place that there, that here, here, and there. All right, cool. So that works for me. Actually, that doesn't even look that bad with it hanging off the side like that, honestly. I don't think, I think it looks pretty okay, actually. I think I'm gonna keep it like that. May as well, so that way I don't have to just regather the resources. All right, and then we'll take the elevator. And the reason why I wanted to put that is I wanted a, the elevator to have a, a platform to land on. Uh, and I guess it just automatically faces whichever way. Perfect. And then we can call the elevator. Nice, and we got a rapid elevator journey complete, although I'm not riding an elevator, very nice. All right, and then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create some steps and we'll put a step here, step here. Um, is that touching the bottom at all? Or what does that look like? Uh, it kind of doesn't look like it's touching the bottom, honestly. So I'm gonna have to put another set of steps here, I suppose. Hold on. Why does that look like that? Why does that look like that? That looks weird. Oh, it's cause it's facing the wrong way. I'm stupid. <laughs> It's facing the wrong way. That is why it's doing that. All right. Um, can I rotate this or what? Is it not gonna let me rotate? Come on, work with me here. There we go. There we go. There we go. Thank you so much. All right, very nice. So now we have two steps we can go up this way. I'm gonna keep that back part there anyway. And then we can go up and down the elevator. Very nice, look at that, we got our first elevator. This is awesome, man. This is something that they need in like so many games that they just don't have. Ark, I'm looking at you. Actually, they do have elevators, I'm tripping. I'm so dumb, there is elevators in Ark. No, Seven Days to Die, that's the game that needs elevators. 
Seven days to die. They don't have elevators in seven days. All right, and then we'll do the same thing with this one. We'll grab this. We will, I think it already is on the hot bar. Um, not enough resources. What you talking about, Willis? Put that sucker right there. There we go. And boom, same thing. Now we have two elevators. I wasn't gonna do two elevators, but it, I think it just looks better with two elevators. All right, now we're just gonna tidy up this area. Um, I don't know if I wanna put, I guess I will. I'll put some stairs here just to, just for the looks, you know? Like a little stool area, like a little step down area. It looks kind of funky, but whatever. Funky like a monkey, I like it. All right, and then we're gonna put uh, some guardrails right here on the side. Safety first, ladies and germs. Safety first. We're gonna make sure none of our thralls fall over. You know what I'm saying? And bang, just like that. Very nice. Man, I'm liking this, dog. I like this. This looks good. This looks really good. I like it. I was thinking about putting a tower on each side, like a little miniature tower, or like a like a little watchtower, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm gonna put one right here on this side. I'm gonna put a nice big watchtower. All right, now we're gonna go back down. Again, this isn't as fast as just jumping down, but you know what? I, I'm going to be using this a couple times until I get tired of it. Boom. And we're going to do the same thing on this. We're just going to put some rails around it. Um, just like that. Is there is there such thing as rails for the stairs? Or I don't think there is. No, I don't think there is, unfortunately. Oh, well. All right. This is good enough for me. I'm, I'm down with this. Actually... I think I can put, I don't have enough resources for it, but I think I can put um, these here. Yeah, I can, but I need more resources. I need more stone. Let's get some more stone real quick. There's some stone right here. Uh, let's throw that back on our hot bar. Uh, I kind of don't want to gather the stone that's like right by the thing because I kind of like the appearance of stone right next to my base thing here. So there we go. And we will go ahead and place that there. And we can place this one here, just like that. Awesome. And I think on this one, I'm gonna have to place a floor or a wall, I'm sorry, not a floor, but a wall right there to make it touch all the way down to the bottom. There we go, very nice, man. I like this. I like this a lot. I'm gonna keep that one down. So I guess every time I swap, I'll just like swap them around like that. So that way I can just kind of get up with ease. Very nice, man. Very nice. I wonder if there's a way for you to change the speed on these. It probably isn't. Let's see. Interact, pick up, dismantle, return to inventory. You can also move it, which is cool. Awesome. All right. And I think I'm just going to move this um, for now. I I'm eventually going to build like a forge building, but for now... We'll just place it right there. Very nice. I like it having out in the open like this. I think it looks kind of cool. So I'm going to leave it there. Very nice. Very nice. Very sexy. Very sexy. I'm out of metal. I need to get more metal. Or not out of metal, but I need to get more metal smelting. Man, I really like this. I'm very happy with this. All right, awesome. Now, the next thing that I wanted to work on, it's getting kind of dark. It's getting kind of dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait till the daytime comes. But while we're waiting on it, I'm actually, oh, I got another point. Very nice. Uh, let's see, what do I want to put it into? I guess I'm gonna put it into strength. Should I put it in the strength or vitality? Let's see, uh, resurgence receive a one-time healing effect when your health drops below 50, can be received again after being fully healed. Fast healer, you receive 50% increased healing from healing effects. Ah, those are nice. Combo master, combo finishes deal 20% more damage. Second skin, equipped armor weighs 25% less. Dang, both of those are actually really good. I think I'm gonna go with the light armor build eventually with this guy, so like, I don't think I really need to go into second skin. I'm not gonna go into heavy. That's what matters most, so I'm not gonna go into heavy. Uh, Blood Mad Berserker, while below 25% health, you cannot be staggered or knocked down. Your damage is increased by an additional 10% and your armor is increased by an additional 50% or 50. Crouching swing, your heavy attacks stagger for 25% longer and no longer rebound off your shield. I won't be using any of that, so I don't need that. Last thing, when your health drops below 50%, you remove all negative effects and gain 95% damage mitigation for a short time. That is awesome. 
gluten for punishment. When you take damage, you regenerate the last instance of damage taken over 15 seconds. Man, those are all really good, man. Those are all really, really, really good. Um, I think I think I'm gonna go with strength. I guess I'm gonna go into strength, yeah. So we're just gonna put point into strength there. And I think it's gonna take like even more points to go up. I don't know if they re-changed it to where now it only takes one point every time you level up compared to like before it would go up significantly like two, three for each level you get after the first little tier there. So I don't know if they changed that. All right, anyways. So the other thing that I wanted to craft was going to be, where is it at, where is it at, where is it at? Right here, I already learned it. So I need to make a stable and I wanna make a just a small animal pen. Uh, I've seen a couple alligators and stuff like that that I'm thinking about grabbing. I should go ahead and learn how to make this too because I know I'm eventually gonna need the planters for some other stuff. And I need to learn the apprentice tinkerer stuff. I think that, let's see, patch repair damage armor, a toolkit for repairing damaged weapons. Actually, I don't know if I'm gonna need this or not. Eh, I probably won't. So I'm gonna leave that the way it is because you can find the repair stuff like from mobs, at least you used to. I don't know if that's still a thing. I'm gonna assume that it's still a thing. So I'm gonna just leave it the way it is. So what I'm gonna focus on is just building this and building the animal pen and I have a perfect spot for it. So I think you build it the same thing as you build everything else. It's gonna be with the hammer if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's see, is it gonna be companions? It is under companions. So I'm not gonna build the big one. I just don't have enough space over here for the big one. Uh, I'm just gonna make the small one and I have plenty of resources to make both of the small ones. Let's see, I need, oh, I need some brick. Okay, cool. So we're gonna get the resources going for that so I can start getting working on the brick. I can't remember how to make brick. Uh, I'm gonna try and see if I remember. Um, I, I'm not totally sure on it. I think it's like something to do with stone. But uh, I'm gonna work on the brick. I'm gonna work on the shape, wood. I'm gonna need 10 of those. And then the rope, which I have plenty of. Awesome. And then once we get all that settled up, ready to go, we'll be, uh, we'll be right back. And I also wanna go up to wherever that is up there. I think it's just probably a camp that I haven't seen before. So I kind of want to go check that out as well and uh, see what's up with that. And I also got to go kill some hyenas for some of the uh, season pass stuff. So yeah, we'll be right back. All right, guys, and we are back at it. Once again, we put all of our stuff away. I put my thrall over there for now so I can get him out of the way. And right here is where I'm thinking about building my taming pen type deal for the creatures. Um, let's see. I kind of want to make sure that I have a, a good amount of space here. I don't want nothing clipping over the top. Um, let's see. I think right here might do the trick. Let's see. Yeah, we can move it back a little bit, actually. So let's move it back just a hair here. Um, let's do yep, just like that. And uh, we'll move it back to right right there how about that nice there we go and we have just a little bit of space on the sides here awesome so we're gonna put that right here and then we're going to put the other one we're actually gonna have to clear this out i'm gonna go ahead and use this so this thing's awesome you can get literally wood and bark at the exact same time i love it i love this boom boom it just makes everything so much easier man i'm just gonna chop this stuff out of the way awesome and we'll cut this off and now we can go ahead and put this down so this will go right here next to this pen i'm gonna put it right there nice man i love that they took the grass out of the way i absolutely love this this is awesome all right awesome so now we have our animal pen this is for horse only horses this is all i use that's all you use this for it's only for horses and this here is going to be for other creatures, like any other animal that I find or creatures that I find out in the wild. In this particular case, we're gonna get ourselves an alligator and throw them in here. And we're gonna get ourselves a horse. So now I gotta go out into the wild, essentially, and find ourselves a horse and an alligator. I have an idea of where an alligator is, so that shouldn't take long at all. Oh, it looks like there's a dead NPC here. Let's scroll down here real quick and grab that. But I know where there's an alligator, so that's not gonna be a problem. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this. Hopefully he doesn't aggro onto me because I really don't wanna have to fight that guy. Oh, he had heavy armor on. Oh, nice, he got some boots. Sweet, and it looks like dried wood on him as well. Did you aggro onto me? No, his back's turned to me, so it should be good. There is also Komodo dragons around here too. 
Um, actually, as a matter of fact, I'm just going to grab this Komodo Dragon here. I'm not even going to worry about the Gator thing. So I'm going to grab the Komodo Dragon. They do weigh a lot. They usually weigh about like 75 pounds, I believe. Let's see. This one weighs 50 pounds. So 50 pounds on that one. And what you're going to do is you just basically run back up here to where the taming pen for them is at. And you just throw them in there. And then they're going to need meat. I think these guys, they eat uh, just flesh. That's pretty much it, like raw meat. So you put them in there. They're just going to chill in there for now. Uh, I guess they don't spawn. I thought they spawned on the thing there, but they don't. And then we just need to go get meat. So while I go get the horses, there's actually deer over here. So I'm going to kill the deer for the meat because they have really good meat. Because I also want to have some meat as well on me. And uh, from there, we'll just continue to go. Let's see. Um, we're going to go, yeah, that way, that way. Also, one thing that I forgot to mention too, is you don't actually need to feed your, uh, thralls or your animals. You don't have to do that. You only feed them just to give them the, the growth boost. And that's it. You'd really don't need to feed them for any other reason. So right there in that desert area, uh, early in game, I'll be very careful with getting over there. Cause it's actually very dangerous. There's like these dogs that will tear you apart. And there's also scorpions over there. The scorpions aren't so bad, but the dogs are really, really dangerous. So if I remember correctly, I think the horses are just to the left of where the that little desert patch is. Oh, that's a boss right there, I think. It's either a boss or just a really bad dude. I can't really remember. I don't think he's a boss. His eyes not glowing blue, so he might not be a boss. Um, but yeah, so if you kind of come up here, I kind of try to see if I can spot anything. Yeah, you see the scorpion? Those little scorpions aren't that bad. Um, they do have poison when they bite you, I think. So they will poison you up if you let them hit you. But other than that, like you're pretty much set. But if you go further in, you're going to start seeing these like demon dogs and they will literally shred you apart. Unless the game changed it um, during the 3.0 patch, which I don't think that they have. So... Uh, okay, cool. So usually right around here, you'll find fawn, which is what you need to grow into horses. So let me see if I, there's also panthers if you go too far that way too. So you got to be careful with that. There's black panthers over there. So let's go up and around this way and see if there's any fawns up here. If there isn't, which it doesn't look like there is. Uh, no, it doesn't seem like there is any up here. So I'm probably gonna have to go on a search for it. I don't know. Maybe they changed the spawn locations for the fawn. I hope not, but they may have. There's a chance. Uh, I haven't heard anything about that or read anything about that as far as like the patch notes go, but we'll see. I don't really see anything here. I see some bunnies. Oh, these bunnies look different. These are like different ones than the ones that are over there. These are like fluffier bunnies. Uh, yeah, I don't see any fawn over here. So I'm gonna go look for some fawn. Hopefully I'll find some soon. And then once we find some fawn, uh, we'll be we'll be back and get them taming up on the uh, thing over there. All right, see y'all in a little bit. Ooh, rude! How rude! How rude! Now I have to chop you up, man. I don't want to have to do that. I really didn't. I really didn't, fellas. But you gave me no other choice. Give me some of that savory flesh. I need it for my uh, for my little pet. Pet Lizard. All right, so I still haven't found a fawn yet, and I got attacked by those dudes. But however, I did see a deer. Where's he at? There he is, right there. See this guy right here. So we're, oh, I forgot we don't have any ammo, so we're gonna have to melee him up. I was gonna try to do this legitimately, like a real huntsman, but I guess not. These are really easy to kill. You just dagger them up a little bit, and then you chop them. And I didn't, that was weird. They ragdolled way the hell over here. There we go. Getting some more savory flesh for our lizard. I still haven't found any I found any fawns yet. I don't know where, where they are. Um, I'll have to look into it a little bit. So I'm going to start heading back to base so I can drop off this. Oh, I ran right into a tree. Start uh, running back to the base so I can go ahead and give this savory flesh to our lizard so he can start growing up. And then after that, we'll go look back out looking for the uh, horse because I really want one. Because they're essential, man. They're absolutely essential. Actually, let me go ahead and kill this guy so I can get some more meat while I'm at it. Oh, I missed. Oh, I didn't mean to attack you. Sorry, bud. I guess it is what it is now. And now you're dead. All right, cool. Sorry, buddy. All right, I'm going to harvest these guys up and then I'm going to head back to base. And I didn't get nothing out of that guy for some reason. All right, cool. 
All right, guys, and we're back over here to our pen. It's our lizard, still right sitting here hanging out. We're gonna go ahead and throw this meat all in here for our buddy buddy. And you can see how quickly these are taming. They're taming pretty quick because I have the settings set to pretty low, so it doesn't take them long at all. I might actually adjust that because I feel like that's maybe a little bit too fast. Uh, but we're gonna wait till after he's done being tamed up. And then we're going to go ahead. Oh, I forgot that I found these boots over here earlier. Carrying capacity plus 15, which is nice. Uh, we're going to wait for him to finish being tamed up here, which should be three, two, one, and bazinga. There we go. And now he's chilling. He's awake. There it is, our Komodo dragon. We have our very own Komodo dragon. He eats the... Wow, he eats it really fast, too. Holy cow. Yeah, he eats the meat really, really fast. So we're just going to let him eat all of that and just let him pile up the dung, because why not? Um, I don't know why he's consuming it that fast. He's consuming it really fast. Interesting. So yeah, we're gonna let him consume that. Then we're gonna take him out. We're gonna let him pretty much put as much dung in there as possible while we can. And I'm gonna go ahead and put all of our stuff away. I'm actually gonna, so I got a skill back head and I'm actually gonna go ahead and frame this sucker up. So I think I throw it in here. Let's see if I got one. I think I should have a skill back. There it is right there. So we're gonna go ahead and craft that. Just take just a second on it. And then we're gonna actually put it right up here next to our uh, gator head. It's the second creature's head that we've gotten out of a creature that we killed or harvested from. So we're going to throw that there. And, oh, this one's so much smaller. Wow, it's so tiny. Well, actually, we're going to put it right here, right next to, right there. That's perfect. Look how small that is compared to the gator head. The gator head's huge compared to that thing. That thing is small. I guess it makes sense because they don't have really big heads. Huh, how interesting. All right, well, that works, I guess. Why not? Screw it, right? Sweet. So now we got another head. Where's your head at? And I'm going to go ahead and throw all of this stuff. So I've been kind of like organizing everything in this inventory. I mean, the best that I can, at least. I don't think I have. I guess throw that in there and uh, we'll move this here. The bugs, I've been throwing them back down there where the, where the fish trap is. And I've been kind of just organizing everything to kind of where they're supposed to go. So I'm going to put all this stuff away. And then I'm going to wait for the animal to finish eating. Wait till morning. And then after that, we're going to take him out. Take him for a spin. All right. So our guy is finished eating all of the meat that was in here. He produced 111 dong, which is dong, dung, dong. <laughs> 111 dongs. That's what he produced. So what you want to do is you want to put them on your hot bar, just like you would place anything else down. And then you just place them down on the ground. Boom. And now you have yourself your very own Komodo dragon. It tells you what they eat right here on the bottom. It's very similar to how the humans are. So like, you know, you have meat, flesh and all this stuff. And if you look on the stats, it kind of goes correlating with the stat. So he has one strength and it tells you the percentage of growth on each single, every single thing that's on there. So what I'm going to do is I want on this guy vitality to go up. And I think for vitality, I don't know if I need human flesh or if I need regular flesh. We may have to science this and see. I think it's actually, hold on. I know one way to tell. So I think that might be agility actually. So let's see. Yeah, it's agility. So for health, it would be the really good meat for this guy. This is agility. Let me level check here real quick. Um, or maybe they changed it. I don't know. It could be different. Agility. So maybe it's strength for that one. Vitality maybe would be this one. And then let's see. Oh, it tells you right there. Nice. Oh, they changed that. I, that was not a thing before. Or at least not on consoles. I use mouse and keyboard. Or I use controller when I play this game. So it tells you. Nice. I did not know that. This is actually awesome. So Abysmal Flesh gives them... Um, plus 14 agility. Abysmal flesh, you get that from like one of the bosses in the game. Uh, human flesh gives them absolutely nothing. So we want to go, we want vitality. So we want feral flesh on this bad boy right here. So we're going to go get some feral flesh form, which is, uh, you can get those from the Komodo dragon. So let's jump down here. We don't want him following us because I don't want him to level up yet. And uh, it looks like they killed another one. No, it's the same one. I think it's the same one all right and let's bring bring the pain if you will and uh he's probably gonna jump at me here in a second there it is 
Boom, 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 and juke ya boy. Boom, 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 and he should die on his own there. Very nice. And then we will, I don't know if this is gonna give me a should. No, it doesn't. So we need to use, I guess this to get Feral Flush from these guys. Let's see. No, it's not giving me Feral Flush at all. What the hell? Okay, let's try this one. Maybe they have a low chance of uh, a Feral Flush to be dropped, so let's see. And choon, choon, bang, shapoopy. And wait for you to attack. Swing and a miss. And we'll stack the bleed on him. And wait for him to attack again. And swing and a miss because you're garbage. And a boom. There we go. Combat in this game is pretty simple. It's a lot of just like dodge and this and that and the other. So it's really not that hard. There we go. Awesome. We got some Feral Flesh. So I'm just going to take this Feral Flesh and just give it to him. Um, let's see. Oh, no. This is a different one. Nice. All right. Tesla the Blade. Down she goes for the count. All right, now we're going to go up here to our Komodo dragon. Call me Ricky Steamboat in the flesh. Let's go. <laughs> uh, where's he at? There he is. Awesome. Oh, it looks like the plants already regrew back. Or was it already like that? It might have been like that before. I don't mind that, though. All right, so we're just going to give him the feral flesh. He ate it. So now if you look at his stats, he should have... Yes, plus 14 for vitality. Awesome. So now... I want vitality on these because I want them to to live for 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 a longer period of time. They don't they're not very powerful or anything. So now we're gonna get him to follow us, and we're gonna go level him up real quick. Just gonna give him like one level while we're out and about. Let's see. Uh, let's go fight a Komodo dragon because that's literally the only thing that's here. Uh, let's see. You know it's weird. The NPC, the this little boss thing, used to kill the Komodo dragons. I guess uh, they maybe changed the the setup for them on the game. I'm not totally sure though. Uh, let's just pull him. Let's use this. And shapoopy. And shapoopy. And shapoopy. And all right. And I'll let him handle that guy and I'll handle this one. No way he dies, right? I hope not. And boom, he should die out to the bleed. There you go. He leveled up. And there's the other one. Nicely done, Komodo. Very nice. Very nice. Awesome. We're going to go ahead and harvest these guys. Uh, they might give me some more feral flesh. Awesome. And did he eat? Hold on. Uh, let's see. Did he eat the other one? To put yes, awesome. So he didn't get that many points into vitality. Uh, so it's at a hundred percent chance to get points into vitality, but he got more into strength, which hey, I'm totally cool with that. The only one I don't want him to get points into is agility, and he did get some into that, which kind of blows, but it's fine, not a big deal. And go ahead and harvest some more of these, and there you go. Now he's a level two Komodo. We should rename him too. So let's rename him. Uh, oh, I got the perfect name for this sucker. All right, ready for this? You ready for this one? We're gonna name him Ricky Steamboat. There we go. All right, let's go, Ricky. Let's go up here. Let's put you away. Awesome, so I'm gonna put Ricky Steamboat away, and then after that, oh, I'm about ran into a rock. After that, I'm gonna go back out and try to find a fawn somewhere and hopefully find one and get them tamed up. And then after that, we'll uh, we'll call it for the uh, for the for this episode. So let's go find ourselves a little horsey horse horse, huh? All right. So check it out. Oh, look at that! I didn't even notice that thing back there. Look, that's one of the bosses. It's like a legendary creature that you can kill. You can get a legendary key from. But we're not gonna mess with that because that'll kill me. So I don't even want to try. But check it out. We found ourselves. I keep calling these things fawn. They're not fawn. I'm just really stupid. Um, fawn is the deer. <laughs> it's a baby version of the deer. What are the horses called? Uh, let me grab it. Let's see. It is a full fowl? 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 I don't, I don't know. Hold on. What was it? Um, uh, let's see. Fowl? Fo, fo, I think. Hold on. Now I'm curious. Full owl, full owl, 
Full out? Full. 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 Okay, well, that's what baby horses are called, I guess. Full. So I found the fools. <laughs> I had to Google how do you pronounce it. I found the fools. I keep calling them fawn. I, they're very similar to one another, as you can tell. Um, I'm going to grab this one, too. And I'm going to buck it out of here because I really don't want to have to fight this guy. Oh, I guess I will. Come on, let's go. Let's tango. Come on. I've been looking for a fight. I've been looking for a fight. And you're dead. See, look, that's why you don't want to fight, homie. You don't want none of this. You don't want these hands, bruh. Bruh. Beat your ways. All right. Well, we're just going to leave him there. Uh, Yeah, I don't want to mess with that thing. So we're going to go back to base now that we found one. It's actually, oh, I should have probably show you this. So I found these right here, like right where this little, uh, oh crap, I hate these buttons, man. Um, right here, right where this is, right where this little ledge is, this is where I found it, okay? So if you want to get it, here's my base, it's right over here. Um, they do supposedly spawn here sometimes as well, I just didn't find any. And I looked over here because I thought maybe they spawned over here, but they don't. Uh, at least I, I've never seen them here, but I thought for a minute they maybe did and I just got the two locations mixed up So you can find them here if they're not there You can go look over here like right across the water and you should be able to find them relatively with ease it, In quotations mark with ease, you know what I mean? So I was able to find two. I didn't look for any other ones So we're just gonna we're just gonna skedaddle and we're gonna go back to base and we're gonna put the sucker in there and then we're gonna start trying to to tame them. Horses are great. They're really cool to like traverse with. Like they're fantastic to traverse with. They don't fight. They can't defend you or anything. But like to travel around in the map, because this map is pretty big. You really want a horse. You really want a horse. They can pretty much outrun anything. I haven't found anything that can outrun a horse yet. So you can outrun anything. So you can pretty much go to any location you want. Uh, with as long as you have a horse and you can outrun it. So it's really good. It's really good to have. They're really fast steeds. They have a good bit of stamina. And most importantly, they can carry a lot of stuff. So it's really good. Really, really good stuff. Awesome. So we're going to go ahead and skedaddle up our elevator. And uh, I'm going to get some things together for it. And we'll be right back once I have like all the food and stuff ready to go so we can start taming it. Awesome. All right. So check it out. So we're, uh, we're actually at the wrong pin. This is the right pin. So we're at the stable pin. This is real simple. So I noticed something that I've never noticed before. Maybe I just never paid attention. I don't know if it's new or not. Um, I could, I'm, it's probably not, but there's two different types of file that I got here. I have a swift file and I have a regular file. I'm assuming the swift file says a young horse with a spring in its step. It's probably gonna be faster than the regular file. So I'm gonna throw this sucker right in here. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna give it plant fiber. That's really all you need for it. It's just plant fiber and it'll start taming. So there you go. I did change the taming speed a little bit. Uh, I'm kind of sciencing with it now. Uh, it still seems a little fast. I put it up to one instead of what I had it on before, uh, but it still seems like it's going kind of fast, like 0.1 instead of 0.01, but it still seems like it's going kind of fast. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this one. We're gonna wait for it to finish and we're gonna grab it. And then we're gonna go ahead and throw this other one in there, but we're not gonna place it just yet because there's something I wanna do before I place the horse down on the ground. So, all right, sweet. Now we have the horse. I wanna go ahead and grab it out as fast as possible. And now we're gonna throw this one in there. And it shouldn't take long at all for it to grow. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take half of this cause I don't want it to go completely to waste. And I'm gonna let the rest of that sit so it can make some dung and I'll keep the other one in there for now. And we're gonna run over here and we're gonna throw all of this into here. Awesome, so one thing that I wanted to get is I wanted to get some, I think it's yellow lotus blossoms because I wanna change the color of the horses. This doesn't make the horses any better. It just allows you to select the color of the horse and it's between black and white is the two color variants. So I'm gonna go try to find some yellow lotus real quick. We're gonna run out. There should be some near the starting zones. I'm gonna try to grab some there and then we'll be right back. And we're gonna craft a alchemy bench and go from there all right be right back all right guys so check it out so we found ourselves some yellow lotus they're all gathered right here it's really close to the beginning area i'm just gonna go ahead and grab a bunch of these uh i'm gonna show you right here we're on the map we're right here literally like my base is right up here starting zones is kind of like right down here and uh this is kind of like right where this little curve is there's a good selection of them right over here near to where the two camp right there is there's like a just two people right there on that camp so we're just gonna harvest these up real quick 
grab some of these. Just kind of wanted to show you where it was in case you wanted to find them. There's some more right over here. I mean, they're all over this bank here. You can just kind of run around and grab them. I'm going to grab these real quick, and then we're going to go ahead back to uh, back to, to base. And I'm not going to fool with this alligator because I don't want to waste any time. All right, guys, and we're back, and we're just chilling, you know, petting our Komodo dragon. We just got back home, saying hi, you know, just hanging out. Awesome. So check it out. So this horse over here is fully grown. It's fully matured. I don't know if that's like how they're actually going to look or not. Uh, if it is, I actually really like the color patterns on that one. But I don't know if that's how they actually look if I was to place them down like that or not. So we got all of the lotus that we needed. I mean, we got a ton of lotus right here. So what we need to learn to craft now, um, I think we have some points to spend first. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's go ahead and bring our strength up. So what we're going to do is I think it is going to be under, is it under survival maybe? Let's see. Yes. So we need to learn how to make the fireball cauldron, uh, which is going to allow us to learn how to make the alchemy bench, which is what we really need for this. So we're going to go ahead and click on the alchemy bench. Boom. So we learn that. And then along with that, we learn all of these fodder things. None of this makes the creatures any better. That's not what it's for. It's all literally cosmetic changes. It doesn't make them stronger or anything like that. Like the, none of that stuff. The only thing that makes it better is a chance, a random chance of a roll of you getting a greater creature, like a greater panther, a greater bear, a greater wolf, uh, things like that. But apart from that, nothing changes. Uh, it's just a skin. That's all you're throwing it on there. And they have the skins for the horses um already by default i believe on this let me see let me scroll it down uh maybe not maybe not i think uh let's see yeah i think you have to learn how to make the what you're going to need to learn how to make this anyways if you want to put a saddle on the on the horse you need to learn sorry you need to learn how to make the saddle armor which is uh right here so you got novice saddle and then you got the poitain war saddle which is, I guess, just a war like saddle for your horses and stuff. They look kind of cool, uh, but you can't craft them until you're level 60. And I think it gives them more protection. I believe, don't quote me on that. I'm not totally sure, but I think these give them more protection on the armor. So we're going to learn the novice uh, saddle maker, which we're going to want to do that anyways, because we want to be able to put a saddle on our horses. And then when you learn that, it's just going to allow you to craft a new saddle. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pull out our hammer and we're going to... Same thing as before. I think it's alchemy. Yeah, there it is. So alchemy. So we need 100 wood. We need 50 stone and 10 metal, which we have plenty of everything. So we're going to go over here. We're going to grab the 100 wood. We're going to throw it into our inventory right down here. Uh, 100 wood. And then we need 50 stone. And I don't remember how much metal. My brain forgets that fast. 50 stone and I think it's 10 metal so we're just gonna grab metal out of this uh, 10 10 metal I think that's what I needed let's check it out uh, alchemy yes that's exactly what it is awesome so now we have our alchemy workbench for now I'm gonna put this uh, I think I'm gonna put it inside I'm gonna put it right under here actually uh, let's see should I put it here or should I put it on this wall here um now nah, i'm gonna put it on this corner eventually i'm gonna create like a, a whole separate building for like alchemy and sorcery and stuff but for now we're just gonna put it in our basement uh area or our storage area uh, let's see let's move this a little bit further back it's kind of hard to tell a little bit where it's gonna be at i think we're good here yeah i think this is solid awesome so we got our alchemy bench here. I'm gonna go ahead and just throw all this Lotus stuff all in here, because I don't wanna carry it on my inventory, of course. We have a ton. I mean, we have a crap ton. And you don't need this many to uh, make the fodder. So we're gonna take, oh, sorry, that there, boom. And it looks like we don't have the fodder available on here. So I need to actually figure out how the heck I make the fodder. Oh, I think I know what the problem is. I think I need to, I have showing none right now. I need to put showing all, let's see. Uh, sip the showing all, there we go. So you got the sea salt fodder. Um, then you have the tainted fodder. You got the totemic fodder and you have the Turanian and the Yamatai 
fodder. The tainted fodder is the one that we want. And I believe that you do have to have the horse DLC, which I do have available for it. So you need one Lotus Blossom, one Gruel, and then two alloy leaves. We got the alloy leaves right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just throw all of these in here. I did not mean to throw the horse in there. Uh, let's go ahead and just throw that there and then put it all in order. Awesome. And then we're going to run out here and we have some fodder that's just hanging out right in here. So we're going to go ahead and grab the fodder that's here. Uh, let me go ahead and put that there. Awesome. We just need one fodder. So I'm going to grab this one fodder and throw it in here. And then you just highlight the tainted fodder and craft it. It's going to take just a second for it to craft. When it's done crafting, you just put it into your inventory. Oh, I just real. Oh, no, I thought that was poop. It's not poop. It's seeds. <laughs> so All right, so I have everything that I needed on my inventory. I got my horse right there, boom. And I got my tainted fodder. Kind of had a brain fart and almost forgot how to make this. So when you have the DLCs, you kind of have to have it showing all. And you actually just craft it straight out of your inventory. So this horse here is the, uh, I think it was the one that it said it was a swift one. So I want to see if it's going to be faster than the other one. Uh, see if it makes a difference. So I want to make a black horse and I'm going to make a white horse. So with this one, I want to make the black horse. I just hit craft on this one and then it's going to start crafting the horse. It's going to take a second on that. And then I'm going to wait for it to finish crafting because I want specifically that horse to be the black one. And then once it's finished crafting, then I'll go ahead and pick up the other one and I'm going to make the other horse a white horse. And then you just place them down. That's literally all you have to do. So here you go. Three, two, one. Boom. This one is done. So now you just put it in your inventory like you do with any other creature or NPCs. And there it is. You have your horse. You just put him. Let's see. We're going to put them right here. Boom. There we go. Now you have your black horse. What you do is for you to figure out what um, stats they have, you just go on the stats and it tells you right there. You got grit, vitality, agility, and strength. I want to make sure that this one in particular, I believe they have speed perks. I want it to go into agility, I think, with this. I'm not totally sure. I need to do a little bit of research on this, but I'm not totally sure. Uh, let's see. Pickup, admin settings, uh, disable pickup. Oh, nice. You can actually uh, you can actually pick up plus admin settings. Interesting. I didn't know that this was all on. I think this is part of the mod. I'm not totally sure, though. Um, so, yeah, you can check the stats there. If you look it into its inventory, Unlike the uh, human NPCs, it has like a bunch of slots. So you got one, two, three, four, five, ten total slots for you to put stuff into. They're awesome at helping you gather stuff. And it also shows you the diets right here. So what they need. So you got strength, vitality, grit plus 7%. Bart gives you plus 14 grit. Vine plus 14 vitality. Uh, 14 agility with seeds. And 14 vitality with uh, desert berries. These are really easy to come across if you want to put it into health, which is probably what I'm going to do if it doesn't make a difference in the... Uh, the speed uh, thing. I think there is a speed multiplier on here. I'm not sure. I think if you put it, uh, if they level up in agility, it goes into speed. But before I do anything, I'm gonna make sure of that first before I just waste uh, resources and time. All right, so the other one is this horse. So we're gonna go ahead and put it into our inventory. And now what we're gonna do, we made a black horse. Now we're gonna make a white horse, which is gonna be right there. So we're gonna go ahead and craft this one. Boom. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it back to showing none. So I usually have my filter set to showing none because I try to use mostly nothing but vanilla um, stuff for people that don't have the DLCs or whatever. And I like to start off by making just vanilla stuff like the vanilla shacks and stuff. Although that top part there, that wood part, you have to have the Isle of Sipta DLC to be able to make it. But I like to just start with like default stuff. And then as I progress in the game, I'll start using some of the DLC things for like more special armors and stuff like that instead of just wasting it on regular ones. And here you go, this is the white horse. And if you don't have the DLC and you just have the horses, you, the horses will still be in the game. Uh, you can just pick them up and you just place them down like normal. You don't have to do the tainted fodder stuff and, and all of that for like the crafting and whatnot. It's uh, it's not necessary. So stats, let's look at the stats on this bad boy. Same thing, you got a point into vitality, uh, which is awesome. It says vitality health bonus 63. And is there a bonus on this one? 63, it's the same thing. Awesome. And I think both 452 and 452. Awesome. I'm not totally sure 100% on the horse stuff. Uh, you can probably just look it up on uh, YouTube, like as far as like, because everything's got like these hidden stats stuff going on with it, like all the thralls and, and creatures and stuff. And you can look up most of that online. 
uh, on YouTube. I don't really know a whole bunch of detail about that stuff because I haven't really played this game at nearly as much as some other people have. I haven't even beat the game yet. But I know just what I need to do to get started in the game for the most part. And we kind of just wing it from there. Awesome. So check it out. So now what I want to craft, the next thing I want to craft is going to be... Is it going to be under farming? No, it's going to be the... It's under companions. Here we go. It's going to be the saddle workshop. So we need 50 sharp... Uh, shaped woods, not sharp woods. Shaped wood. We need 50 twine and then 50 leather. We have the 50 leather. I think we have the 50 wood. And I know for sure we have the 50 twine. Uh, we do have the 50 wood. Perfect. So we'll just take that. We'll put it into our inventory. We'll make it 50. Grab the 50 twine. Uh, actually, we don't have the twine. Oh, look at that. We do have some in here, though. So I'll just grab 10 from here. Uh, move it into here. Uh, 10. 10. And then we'll grab this one from here. We'll make it 40 and 40. So that gives me 50. I'll move this to the bottom there. And then the other thing was the hide. We'll move this here. And we need uh, 50, I think is what it said. Yeah, 50. Boom, just like that. Pull out the hammer. The hammer of dawn. And we'll go into companion. And there we go. There is the smithy for that. I am going to make um, probably off camera. Once I get done with this, I'm going to make a uh, what do you call those things? Uh, a black or not a black. Sorry, a uh, horse stable right up here somewhere so I can put the horses inside of. All right. So we got to figure out where we're going to put this I'm kind of running out of space here. Kind of sort of this is kind of blocking the door so we can't put it there. Um, I'm trying to think of where I want to put this for now. Uh, shoot. Uh, not a whole lot of space anywhere to put this stuff. Uh, I guess we'll put it... I guess we'll just put it right here. It's not a big deal. All right, we're going to put it, like, right next to the uh, pillars here. So, let's see. I kind of want to make sure that it's not going too far over. Um, oh, but it's... Okay, I got to do it from this side. All right, uh, let's go into first-person view. Uh, and we will put it right there let's see does that look good uh yeah that's good enough awesome so now we can make ourselves the tack saddle i think that gives it let's see saddle stirrups and other riding's gear necessary to train ride and hitch horse a saddle designed for war so you got the war horse saddle which is a light saddle and then you have this one which you need hardened leather for, which I don't have, and I don't have reinforced steel either. So we're just gonna make the regular saddle, which just needs uh, twine, iron, and leather. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the iron that's in here. We're just, uh, what would he need? Is it, I forgot the, the amount already. Jeez, uh, 68, so we need 68. So 68 plus 68 is 136, I believe. So we're gonna put here 136. 36 right there boom grab that throw that in there and then we need uh 20 twine which uh i think i might need to craft that i'm not totally sure i don't think i have enough let's see 20 20 20 nothing in there let me see if i have some over here maybe i'm lucky nope nothing there and nothing there okay so i'm gonna have to craft some real quick and uh, let's see you can just craft it here, it's fine. We got plenty of uh, resources here. Uh, let's see, twine. Uh, we'll just go ahead and craft. Let's do, let's do 100. 10, there we go, 100. We'll get that going. And what's the other thing I needed? Because we're gonna need a, quite a few of those, right? We need uh, 40, we need 40 of those. And we need 75 plus 75 is 150. So we need 150 leather, which we have a ton of leather. So that shouldn't be a problem, I don't think. A 23 there, seven here. Okay, maybe we don't have enough leather. So maybe we need to craft that too. Jeez Louise, come on. Uh, yeah, we don't have enough. So we need 150 leather, which we can just make here. Let's see. Um, let's go ahead and get that crack in. And... We'll grab, I guess, a stack of this, and we'll just throw it in here so we can get some more. Uh, there it is. I thought I lost it for a second. What was happening? Oh, my controller died for a second. I right, throw that in there, and we'll get these going. Once it's done, uh, we'll get the horse 
cra uh, horse saddle crafted and stuff. All right, and then we'll just go ahead and throw the rest of that in there. And now we have both of them crafting. So it's gonna take just a second on that to craft. It does take a minute or so for it to finish crafting. And eventually I'll make this one for the opposition one. But uh, let me see if there's anything else that shows on here. So you got the Isle of Sipta one, you got the Rhino saddle that you can craft. And I think that's it, correct? Yep, that's it. So showing all, yeah. So these are the three that I can make. Uh, you have to have the Isle of Sipta one to make the, the Rhino saddle. The Rhinos are pretty great. They're just not as fast as the horses, but they are pretty powerful, so which is nice. And I think you can attack with them. Um, I'm not totally sure. Don't don't quote me on that one. I could be dead ass wrong. <laughs> I'm not totally sure. Awesome. So we got one of the horse saddles. We'll worry about the other one later. Uh, we're going to take this one and we're going to throw it right on our buddy here. Boom. And there you go. That's what the saddles look like. Nothing really fancy. Bang, and you just kind of hop on them. You press X to hop on them, and you can just ride them around. But first, before I go anywhere, and he once you hop on them, they also automatically sets them to following. Uh, I want to, let's see, if I, can, if I can just check their stats, please. Let's see, so Vitality, Strength, Agility, and Grit is all of the levels you can get on these. Um, I'm actually going to, hold on, let me change this real quick, because I don't want to mess with this one. Um, kind of want to keep them as default as possible. And then, boom, there we go. Yeah. We're going to take this one out for a spin. Um, he shouldn't be following me anymore, right? Fighter scouting. No, he's not following me anymore. There you go. And he already leveled up. So literally I just took one step and the horse already leveled. So let's see what the uh, points went into real quick. So we're going to go stats and I got two points into grit, one point into vitality and one point into strength. No points into agility, unfortunately. So the horse has its own little stats, as you can see there. It's got its own stamina meter. It's got its own health meter, and it all shows there for you. Uh, you kind of just, it's kind of difficult to turn them a little bit. They're not the greatest creatures in the world to like maneuver around, but it's okay. They're pretty fast. As you can see, they move kind of quickly and they actually start to move faster over time. Like they pick up speed and they can jump and they can also swim, but they're not very good swimmers. They're pretty slow at it, but it's better than not swimming at all which is awesome. I'm going to take like a quick troll, stroll through, just like, I'm just going to run through this uh, this camp real quick. It looks like he lost some health somehow. Oh, it's because uh, he leveled up into Vitality. All right, so we're just going to run through here real quick. Uh, we're going to run right past these guys. If I'm not mistaken, you can bump them over. Yeah, just like that. So you can run them over just by bumping into them, which is awesome. And you want to make sure that you stop sprinting before it runs out of stamina, because if it runs out of stamina, it takes a little bit longer for it to catch up on the stem. So check this out. Boom, get out of my way. And it does damage too, which is awesome. Just like that. Bang. Over here, we got ooh, some hyenas, which I need to actually kill for my uh, thing to level up on. And they're coming right at me, little bastards. And we leveled up again on this sucker, which is awesome. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We're in a pickle. They are terrible at turning. I will say that right off the rip. They are horrible to turn with, but it's quite okay. It is quite all right. Sweet. He already got a good bit of levels into Vitality, which is awesome. But yeah, as you can see, like I can easily outrun pretty much anything. These, this is exactly what I wanted to get for me to be able to start traveling around the map and being able to get the point A to point from point A to point B much, much, much more efficiently and quicker. So yeah, much, much needed. There's some like little rock golems over there, which we will uh, not fuck with right now, for sure. But I do want to kill some of these hyenas. So I'm actually going to walk down here and and uh, finish off the video by killing some of these hyenas and uh, getting my battle pass uh, quest thing completed real quick. So let's see, where's the hyenas at? They just followed me up here. Did they run back? They must have ran back already. Yeah, they're down here somewhere. Where are you? Or are you your little, your little devils? There they are. Awesome. So we're going to leave him here for now. Uh, well, he's going to follow me around, which is fine. He doesn't do anything, though. Uh, so there you go. So we're up to two strength, three agility, which is awesome. Six grit and four vitality, which is fantastic. All right, let's see. I don't know how powerful the hyenas are. I know a pack of them will fuck me up. So we're going to try to avoid fighting a whole pack at once. But we can definitely take one at a time. If I can hit them. There we go. Easy peasy. There we go. And we get a level. Very nice. Awesome. And we're gonna actually go ahead and scan these. I think they give you like hyena pelts, which uh 
It's a, yep, hyena pelt, which is unique to them. Uh, I think you can make like a hyena type armor that needs the hyena pelt. So I'm going to grab onto that. Uh oh. Got to kill this guy now. And all right, this is the problem with the horses. They like to run away, uh, which can put me in danger of some things. All right, let's go ahead and harvest this guy. Get all that hide. Ah. There we go. Will you fight me, you little fucking punk bitch? Come on. Stop running away. He's still going after him. Come on, come on, fight me. Come on. Bitch. Show you who daddy is. All right, so we need you to stop following me. All right? Just just stay here. Uh, stop following. Just stay here while I destroy these hyenas. Um, I think I have some arrows on me, so I'm going to use this. Oh, nice. Look at that damage. Nice. Oh, dude, these, these hyenas are nothing. Easy peasy, baby. Very nice. All right. I guess we're just going to go ahead and queue up a hyena killing montage real quick while we uh, try to complete this quest. Sunder. Boom. And you're dead. Nice. So we're up to five. So I'm actually going to go ahead. It's getting dark, so it's kind of hard to see. I'm going to go ahead and just finish up this quest. Let me pull out my torch real quick. Make it a little bit more presentable, huh? So I'm going to go ahead and finish out this quest. Kind of get the battle pass kind of going. I already finished some of them. I guess I might as well go ahead and show that. Some of the challenges. I have some of them completed already. Um, the way this works is the common ones are like really easy, like killing hyenas, gathering berries. It's usually like gathering stuff and killing simple NPCs. The rare one, like the sand reapers, they're uh, kind of a little bit difficult mobs to kill. So that's why it's got rare and it gives you more XP. And then you have the prey at the set altar in Super Maru. Uh, that's a legendary one, so it gives you 150 XP, which is awesome. So you want to kind of get those done once you get to higher levels, so that way you can get through the battle pass a little faster. So awesome. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and finish this out. We're going to kill some more hyenas. We're going to leave our horse here. And uh, yeah, guys, so if you've been enjoying these videos, I know this is probably going to be a long one. Uh, I can already tell because I've been talking a lot. But uh, if you've been enjoying these videos, hey, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more episodes of these. I'm going to start shorting these up a little bit. The beginning stages, I like kind of to show as much as I can, talk about as much as I can. And then from here on out, it's going to be more, a lot more condensed. I'm trying to get it to about 10, 10 to 20 minute videos. Uh, but I'm going to try to spit them out as fast as I possibly can. Okay. Awesome, guys. Have a wonderful day. Have a kick-ass rest of your week. Have a kick-ass rest of your night. Have a kick-ass rest of your day and morning. And I'll see you guys next time right here on YouTube. All right, guys. Peace out.